Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the launch event of the Singapore Youth Festival Art Exhibition and SYF Goes Online. We are excited to show you what's in store. Are you ready? Hello everyone. I hope you had had a good break and a smooth start to the new school term. I'm excited to join you today at this year's Singapore Youth Festival opening event to celebrate the artistic creativity of our students and Youth Day. This year, despite the ongoing pandemic, we've prepared an exciting lineup of activities to continue engaging our students in the arts. Before the June holidays, we rolled out SYF Goes Online, a series of fun and easy to follow online arts projects to engage students during their break. Some of these interesting projects involve writing monologues that told stories of optimism and hope. Others involve jamming with our local band, Michael Pella, by using a mobile app. Through these activities, our students found new and creative ways of expressing themselves and to collaborate digitally with one another. They showed us that COVID-19 will never wear us down and they demonstrated their grit and resilience. And through this process, they discovered their own unique artistic voices as well. For the SYF Art Exhibition, over 500 artworks by more than 3,500 students from 188 primary schools and special education schools will be showcased on the SYF website. In addition, this year marks the first time that the art exhibition is using immersive 360-degree technology. Centred around the theme of artists and technology, some of our students' artworks are also featured virtually against the digitalized backdrop of gallery spaces within the National Gallery Singapore. I'm glad that students in our performing arts co-curricular activities were able to take part in the SYF Arts presentation earlier this year with stringent safe management measures in place. Although our choirs were not able to perform live, they were still able to present their singing through audio recordings. Kudos to the 31,000 students from 166 secondary schools and junior colleges for overcoming the numerous obstacles to deliver outstanding and memorable performances. This is a testament to our students' hard work and the commitment of our teachers and instructors. And now, it is time to experience some of these special SYF moments. Are you ready to join me? Let's go! In our artwork, it is inspired by the stories of four families. One of the families represented in the artwork reflects my family life. The father is like my father working on the computer because he is working from home. The sister is doing SLS on the iPad just like my sister and I. Second family in the artwork is like my family. We watch news on the television after dinner every evening to learn about COVID-19. I must tell you, Divya and Sebastian, even at my age, I can't do what you are doing. You are amazing. We used a mix of traditional and digital methods. First, painting the mask, then using a computer program called Spark AR to transform our mask into a filter. We did this to show how technology can help create alternate realities and transport us into dream worlds filled with our hobbies and passions. Through these EMAs, we hope to encourage our schoolmates to wear their masks properly to protect themselves and others from the virus. Minister, would you like to try on one of our e-masks? Sure. You should be able to see yourself with a blank mask on. Yes. Ah. <laughs> I think I look much nicer with your e-mask, but I can't go out of I can't walk around with your emas. I need, I need the next invention now. <laughs> Did you play with taper aeroplanes when you were younger? Uh, yes, once upon a time, yes. 
a long time ago for me. Please fold the white paper provider into a paper aeroplane. This one sounds like a science project. <laughs> Okay, I've got something folded. I'm not sure whether you will fly. Does this look like a plane? I think that's good enough. Sure glad you think it's good enough. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty nervous, you know. <laughs> Towards the camera, is it? Ah, oh, you caught my... You are a magician. Tell me something memorable that you all have learned during the making of this program. The moment that I find memorable was after the performance because uh, at the point of time, I felt this sense of achievement because at that moment, it showed me all the effort and hard work that I've put on and also like it shows which areas they have to improve on further. So that was the most memorable moment. So I was able to see the drive in each and every cast member, especially the SEC 1s and the SEC 2s, who uh, really put in so much effort. And to me, that's uh, really touching. I think that was truly the most impactful and memorable moment to me. All of you have worked very hard for this, and I'm sure uh, it's not just a product that matters, but also, as uh, many of you mentioned, it's the journey of coming together to put this up, overcoming obstacles that really matters. And I hope that you will remember this even in future as you face uh, other challenges. Uh, always remember, the challenges won't define us. How we respond to the challenges will define us. So you all do stay strong and uh, do, do continue this uh, spirit to make sure that you want to overcome the challenges along the way. COVID-19 has thrown the world a curveball. Its impact has been far-reaching and the arts have certainly not been spared. Despite these challenges, the arts will continue to play a critical role in the development of our youths and in nurturing a future-ready generation. While the road to this year's SYF has not been easy, we have been encouraged by the positive responses that we have seen from our students who rose to the occasion and created new opportunities. With many of you returning to school this week and the primary one to three students soon after, I hope all of you will continue to support one another and stay strong together.